As we finish the first week of the 30-day yoga challenge, let's slow things down a little bit. Lay back, bend your knees, and place your feet on the mat. You can rest your hands on your belly or take the arms alongside your body. Let your back release towards the earth. Hug your knees in, take your hands to your knees, and begin to circle your knees in one direction. Rolling around the tailbone, releasing through your lower back, and then circle the other way. Bring your legs back to center and give them a big squeeze. Rock side to side a few times. Bring your feet back down to the floor and roll to the right side as you slowly make your way to sit, sitting with your legs crossed. Take your hands to your knees, begin to circle your entire torso over the legs, sending it back and around, letting the shoulders and the arms relax, letting the back move, just trying to get more of a range of motion in the spine. Begin to circle the other way, once again, nice big circles. Find your way back to center. As you inhale, begin to take your hands forward, and with an exhale, walk your hands forward. Maybe the elbows can rest on the floor. Walk to the right side, fold over your right leg. Take your right elbow towards the floor, spin open and reach over with the left arm. Exhale it down. Inhale, reach open with that left arm. Exhale down. Inhale, reach open and extend. Take the left arm behind you in a half bind if you like, or rest your hand on your hip. Take a few slow deep breaths, opening up through that left shoulder. Reach up with the left arm, inhale. Exhale, take the hand back down to the floor. Walk to the left side. Bend over the left leg. Let the left elbow stay bent and soft as you reach up with the right arm. Exhale it down. Inhale, open, reach over with that right arm. Exhale down. Inhale, reach over and extend. This time, if you like, take the arm behind you or place your hand on your waist or your hip as you spin the ribs open. Try to twist as much as comfortable and slide that right hand a little further towards the left side if you can as you spin and open through your right shoulder. Reach up with the right arm, inhale, exhale, the hand comes back down to the floor, walk it back to center, lengthen and inhale, exhale, begin to lift the hips and send it back to table. If you like, you can swing the legs around. Join the big toes together, send the knees out wide, as wide as possible, and walk yourself forward as we come into a very extended child's pose. Let your head rest on the floor, on your hands, or on blocks. Let your body soften, take a few slow deep breaths, relax the back, the shoulders, the arms. Begin to make your way back up, bring your knees in to about hip distance or so, Bring the feet to hip distance and come back up to table. Tuck your toes under, lengthen through the spine. Slowly make your way up into a downward facing dog. Let legs uh, can pedal out, bend one knee and then the other. Maybe add a little twist to the hips here, just a little swing there to stretch out. Whatever feels good right now. Sometimes it's nice to rock forward and back a few times until you find the down dog that feels good for you. Walk it forward, bend over your knees, folding over the legs, keep the knees bent, grab onto opposite elbows, let your head just hang. Maybe add a little sway side to side, legs straight or bent, your choice. Really relax the neck and shoulders. Take the hands back down to the floor, bend the knees. As you exhale, start to come up. With an inhale, let the arms extend towards the sky. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up, as you exhale, fold about halfway or less, press the palms forward, send the hips back. 
Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release the arms. Take the hands behind you, interlace the hands there. Walk the feet a little wider, bend the knees, fold over the legs, reach the arms overhead. Draw the shoulders back, create space. Exhale the hands to the mat, let the arms rest, hands alongside the feet, palms turn up. So you inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow, bend the knees, step back, downward facing dog. Bend knees and elbows, inhale, roll forward with your exhale into a high plank, place the knees on the ground and extend back with your feet. Lengthen, bend your elbows, lower all the way down to the earth. Forehead comes down, extend back with your legs. Tops of the feet can uh, rest on the floor and you can swing the feet side to side to release the hips. Bend your knees and swing the feet there like windshield wipers. Let your back soften and relax. Bring the feet back down to the floor. Take your hands to the floor, elbows underneath the shoulders. As we come into Sphinx, draw the shoulders back and lift up from the belly, hugging in through the lower belly, sending the navel in and up. Keep pressing down into the legs and into the feet. As you exhale, release down. Take your right ear to the floor, and you can turn the toes in and the heels out to release the sacrum. Bring your forehead to the mat. Rest your hands alongside your body, alongside your ribs. Draw the shoulders back and begin to exhale. Lift up into cobra. Inhale, exhale it down. Press down, inhale, exhale, begin to roll up into a low cobra, inhale, exhale it back down, press down with your inhale, exhale, begin to roll up into a low cobra, inhale, draw the shoulders back, create space, exhale, forehead to the mat. Take your left ear to the floor, rest the arms alongside the body, bend the knees, move the legs like windshield wipers. Press the legs back on the floor. Slowly make your way back up into your table. Bring the knees underneath your hips. Sway the hips side to side a few times, stretching and releasing. Let yourself enjoy this moment, this slower class, more gentle. Bring the knees and feet together and sit back on your heels, toes tucked under. Reach the arms up, interlace the fingers, bend to the right side as you extend through the left, center, and bend to the left, extend through the right, back to center, inhale. Exhale, the hands come back down to the floor, walk it forward. Come back to your table, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Extend back with the right leg, inhale. As you exhale, curl it in, bring the knee towards the chest, Take your right knee to the right uh, wrist and rest the shin on the ground. Walk the left leg back. Draw the shoulders back. And let's remain here, not going into a full pigeon, but just staying here with the hands on the floor and our body a little more supported. Lift the back knee and step the right leg back. Send the left leg back, inhale, exhale, bring it in. Knee to wrist, shin on the ground. Slide your right leg back. Make sure it's directly behind your hip. Then remain here with your hands on the floor. Draw your shoulders back and widen. Let the breath be slow, feeling that deep belly breath as you inhale, expanding as you exhale, hugging in and up. Notice how you feel in your pose. Be mindful of your body as we move a little slower. Tuck the back toes, send the left leg back, coming back to your table. Swing the legs around, sit back, bring the feet out wide, wider than your hips, 
Then let your body rest as you take your hands to your shins or your ankles. Fold over your legs. Maybe, if you like, the hands can also come to the floor. Relax the shoulders, the back, the arms, and be here for a few breaths, allowing yourself to enjoy this moment, to let everything slow down. If you're able to go a little deeper, maybe the elbows can start to bend. Maybe you like to walk the feet in a little bit more to create a little more traction and a little bigger stretch in your shoulders. Let the head relax, the neck relax. You can move the head side to side a few times if you like. Walk yourself back up and bring your legs in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's slower practice and I will see you tomorrow for day eight.